Christine, you called this performance a disaster for Valieva. What did you see happening out on the ice? Kate, it was heartbreaking. Uh, I was in the arena, Patrick, of course, uh, good to see you again. And, and it was unexpected, it was shocking, it was heartbreaking, and you couldn't help but think you were watching the results of the abuse of a child right mm -hmm. there on that ice, Olympic ice, um, at the world's greatest stage. Uh, it obviously, the weight of the world on her shoulders, she had a little trouble in the short program. This was just awful. Four mistakes, the first four jumps, all mistakes, including one fall, then a good jump, and then another fall. This is the greatest skater in the world. This is one of the greatest talents we have ever seen in figure skating, reduced to just um, a, a kid in trouble. Yeah, you know, it was, it's something that I think people who watched it or will watch it later uh, in the United States will never forget. It was unsettling, troubling, awful, just awful. And shame on Russia, shame on the, those coaches uh, for, for putting her in this position. Uh, that's, I, you just can't help but think, uh, just uh, how, sh how is she gonna recover? Is she gonna be okay? So many questions and it's one of the more troubling days and evenings I have seen in my sports career. And Patrick, I just wanted to get your take on what happened today, but also how this entire thing, this entire saga, truly sad, has played out. Well, first of all, we've been very lucky to have Christine over there because her reporting on this has been unbelievable. So thank you, Christine, for all you've been doing. But this to me is, you know, here's my first reaction, mm -hmm. Kate. To the, are you happy now? Mm -hmm. or Russians, are you happy that this is the way this has gone down? Not only did she come in fourth place, and you, as you see her there, in tears, de devastated, distraught. She's 15 years old, okay? And then the, the IOC had said when they made their decision here, or the CAS, I should say, yeah. when they made the decision, said, oh, well, we're worried about the repercussions for her. Well, what about the repercussions now of what she's had to go through? And the That's other- kind of in my mind, too. Yeah, and the two Russians finished one, two, and Trusova, who finished second, who got the silver, was in tears herself. And in fact, she was heard saying to a Russian media outlet, I don't want to skate ever again. So are they happy? Are they going to just move on now? And I hope that this is a wake-up call for everyone in the figure skating world, and in particularly in what's gone on in these Olympic Games. An absolute disgrace. So what does it mean now, Christine, for medal ceremony? You know, the, another Russian skater run gold, and you've noted that they actually, what, train under the same coach? That's correct. All three of the Russians in this competition, all coached uh, by the same woman, Terry Tuparidze. Uh, she also had the two top, uh, the gold and the silver, four years ago, and she had one of the stars of the 2014 game. So now, you know, she's cornered the market on this, and it's it's so troubling. She's now under investigation. The, the really good news here is she's already assured of being under investigation because of the doping scandal. Um, so that's a positive. But this is her stable, and they, they go far from home. These girls at a very young age, parents can't be there. Uh, they train hard. They're basically interchangeable. Uh, be, you know, you kind of figure that, that this is it for these three because in four more years, the 11 and 12 year olds right now will be the ones that are coming along. And to Patrick's point, the IOC and other others, I'm not sure the Russians can, can govern themselves, someone has to step in and say enough is enough and, and shut down this coach, shut down this, the, the doping, um, and also just basically kick Russia out of, out of an Olympics or two to make the point here how serious this is. So we've watched this develop over the last week, and maybe this is the awful but fitting conclusion that this needed to have uh, to wake everyone up to say, okay, there's a child, and look at what you've just done to her. Christine, thank you. Patrick, it's great to see you. Thanks for you being too. here. Thanks. Thank you very much.